Hello everyone! Today I'm here to talk about one of my favorite topics, food. I just spent three months in America eating, trying new foods, taking pictures and vlogging, so it's time to share! Okay, I'm really excited. <laughs> Let's start! The first category is new foods, new dishes, new recipes I tried. Let's start with the famous clam chowder. It's like a creamy, buttery, delicious soup with clams and with potatoes and you can put in some crackers to add some texture. It's probably not low calorie. It's too creamy and too good to be healthy. And you can have it as a starter, like appetizer or with your main dish, like you could have a full size. And if I'm not wrong, clam chowder is famous in New England. When I tried it, I was in Florida, but it was still very good, very flavorful. Let's move on to the second American... I don't know if this is a dish. Hash browns. Hash browns are shredded, fried potatoes. They're not like fries because they're like fried together and it seems like they're fried on the outside, but when you eat the inside, it's more like pan fried potatoes. You can add salt and pepper on them or you could even, I've seen people, add ketchup. I haven't tried because I don't want to eat ketchup for breakfast. And yes, of course, hash browns are a typical breakfast dish. Next, I tried donuts. Here, I won't even say anything, just watch this. One day, we went to a donut shop and we bought six different kinds of donuts. We tried the standard glazed donut, we tried the long fill donut. Brian loved them all, but I have to say that for me, they were just a little too sweet. Like they were really, really sweet. Very sweet. So of course they were good, but maybe they were not my taste. I did like the apple fritter. I know it doesn't look good, but it was so good. It tastes like cinnamon, so try it if you haven't. And then I enjoyed this like hard donut. Brian doesn't know the name of this donut, but it has a different kind of texture. I liked it. Mm -hmm. You might like them or not, depending on how sweet you like your desserts. Is this a dessert? Whatever. Next, let's go back to savory food. This time, I'm gonna talk about something Brian's mom made. Homemade American food that I had never tried before. Originally, this dish has meat, but she made a special vegetarian version for me, green chili. I didn't know what green chili was. It takes a long time to cook, and then you can eat it with nachos, chips, you can eat it with like a burrito, like a wrap. So flavorful, even without the meat. If you're a vegetarian, I would totally, totally recommend green chili. I asked, is this healthy? Because it looked healthy, it looked like it had potatoes, broth, vegetables, and I thought it could be healthy, but Brian's mom said, mm, mm. Not really, so I don't know. I was enjoying it so much, I didn't ask a lot of questions, but yummy. Next, my Italian followers. I had pizza on several occasions in America. And I do think that pizza is an American dish. Okay, don't kill me. We have pizza in Italy and our pizza is amazing. In America, they have a different kind of pizza. It's American pizza. You can't compare the two things just because they have the same name. First of all, when you order pizza in America, usually you order a big pizza. <laughs> like this big, you cannot eat it by yourself. I can usually eat three to four slices and I eat a lot. It's more expensive, of course. The dough is different. It's not just thicker, because Naples pizza is thick, right? It's just a different kind of texture. It's more dense. Just imagine a different kind of dough. And even the sauce on top, it's gonna be different. If you want to have your mozzarella, like the same mozzarella that you can find here, no, you're not gonna get that. Even the tomato sauce is different. It's cooked a little bit more, usually. They put different ingredients on top, and no, I haven't eaten pineapple pizza. I had normal cheese pizza. They call it cheese pizza, but it's more like a margherita than a quattro formaggi. 
If you expect it to taste the same as an Italian pizza, then of course you're gonna be disappointed. But if you get there with an open mind, I honestly think you like it. I mean, who doesn't like pizza? It's good! And also, really briefly, I tried calamari with my pizza because it's kind of common to have pizza and calamari. And by the way, in Italian, the word calamari means squids. So if you go to Italy, you have to say fried calamari. It was different. I liked it because I like the flavor of the seasoning. I feel like it's just the way they fried it. It was different. I'm sure a lot of Italians wouldn't like that because the calamari were not hard enough. They were like soft. I think you know what I mean just by looking at my video. But I did like it. I have to say I like a lot of things. Now let's go to the second category. This deserves a whole category by itself because I'm about to talk about breakfast. Breakfast in America can be a big thing and it is a big thing. I mean, there are restaurants called breakfast restaurants where they mainly, if not only, serve breakfast. At Brian's house, I would usually have my American coffee, you know, I love it. And then I would have a peanut butter and jelly toast. Oh my god, that's probably my favorite American recipe. Just, I love it. Brian, like he had sometimes cereal, of course. He also had like strudel. Strudel. In Italian, that's a dessert. But his strudel had meat inside, so I haven't tried it. He said it was good. But now, <laughs> the Sunday breakfast or like the special breakfast. Everybody knows pancakes. Yes! Brian's dad, one morning, we woke up, he had made pancakes and we had pancakes and it was just a normal day and I'm sure most Italians by now have tried pancakes. I have to say, I've tried pancakes in Japan as well and Japanese pancakes are definitely, definitely different. I think I have some footage of the Japanese pancakes I've tried. I'll put some footage here because if you're a foodie, who cares if American Japanese, it's gonna be interesting so you can see the differences. And also I had omelets a lot for breakfast going out they're good kind of healthy if you don't put sour cream or cheese inside so i really like breakfast in america but if you're american and you have an italian girlfriend i can't promise that she will want to eat real food for breakfast mm, i think mm, a lot of italians wouldn't next category i want to talk about food portions yes i believe food portions in America are bigger, but, but when Italians go to a restaurant, they usually have an appetizer and a main dish and sometimes even a second dish, side dish and dessert. So overall, we eat a lot. In America, it's happened many, 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 many times, not just me, but even with other people that we would sit at a restaurant and we would just order the main dish and a drink. And so that one main dish, I do agree, portions are bigger. But considering everything we eat in Italy, I'd say that we eat more in Italy, quantity-wise. I was shocked when once after dinner, we decided to go get ice cream, American ice cream, not gelato. I was kind of full, Brian was kind of full, and so we said, you know what, let's split a small ice cream, small, to split, and we couldn't finish it, because it was so much. That day I was like, all right, yes, food portions are definitely bigger in America. In Italy, a small gelato is definitely not that big. Now, I want to talk about healthy options. This might be surprising because I do agree, Italian food is overall healthier, we know. Mm. But one thing I noticed, especially when I was in the city, it was easy going out to find healthy options. Vegetables and fish or a shrimp salad. Yeah, of course, they usually put some high calorie toppings and sauces and creams, but you can tell them not to. And it's not as expensive as going to a fish restaurant in Italy and ordering some fish with side dish and then maybe water, you know. It's overall cheaper and easier to find, even at a normal fast food. I was happy about that and I wish we had that. Did you like this video? I had so much fun 
gathering all the information to make this video and you know what if you want to really follow me and know what i'm doing pretty much day to day follow me on instagram because i post almost every day i have stories every day and sometimes i post stupid things but sometimes i play with you guys i like to get to know you better i ask you a lot of questions we do a little bit of english practice so if you don't follow me go to sonia candy insta and start following me now thank you guys for watching see you soon